Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and I am here on the Alpha 7 experimental branch of solo default uh, solo single player. Um, episode 17 now, I believe. So last episode we went to Oscatoon and smashed the patrol vessel down so that I could fly around and discover a whole bunch of Arrestrium, which I proceeded to ravage. So I, I'll just, I'm in my drone right now, but I'll, I can show you what, um, what I got my smelter on the CV. Oh, by the way, I came back to Akua. Uh, so you can see, <laughs> yeah. So I've already used a little bit. And I still got some to smelt. Um, wow. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen and a half stacks or so. So, um, wow, of ingots. That's 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 you know eighteen and a half thousand. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I probably won't have to get a restroom again this uh, series. So, but I. I did get quite a bit of Zascosium too, which I already put in the constructor, I think. Distributed, uh, so I got a bunch in there. Oh, I got a bunch of, see, I, I, yeah, I got way more. I got 22, about 23,000 Arrestrium, but I think I'm going to use more Arrestrium potentially with ammunition. So we'll see. We'll see, because the CV, I want to make some really big weapons. So you notice that I got some stuff in here built. Drill module for um, a HV, six of those. What I did is I stripped off the other HV's drills and uh, threw them in the um, advanced constructor and upgraded them using the advanced constructor to T2 drills because T2 drills actually require T1 drill mechanical anyway so it actually constructs it first and then and then consumes it to to make itself so if you already have a bunch of T1 drills in there it just uses them uh, so that's what I did so that's that's great uh, the recycling in this game is is really good. I like that how it uh, how you can actually reuse some old stuff and and bring them up to uh, a higher standard. Uh, I, you'll notice a CV warp tank in my inventory because well I multi-tooled the SV completely down to nothing and put it all into. Um, a CV blueprint plus I've been putting a whole bunch of other stuff I I went through on my blocks I put like 30 some odd sentry guns into it which which actually was quite a bit of that that reduced the time by a huge amount too so so right now let's take a look what I need to spawn that uh, I'm ready to go in everything except for silicone copper and iron and you'll notice my construction time my production time is down to one second so I just need to plop these ingots in here and we'll will uh, spawn this. So let's do that. So I need iron, not much. A little bit of copper, a little bit of silicone. Okay. So we should be able to get that in here. Uh, copper, silicone, iron. Okay. Go back into my Oops, into my PDA. Nope, I was there. Uh, here we go. And uh, so, uh, 100 and. Come on. Okay, so. Well, that's way too much. What am I doing? Drop that. And drop that. Oh, close enough. I'll be spawning something pretty quick here after this, too. I want to get my other HV in. Okay, so. There's the. Silicone, that's just enough. I can just go like this. And good. And then we've got copper. So not much. I can just do the same thing. And bingo. 
Let's start production of that. And, oh, it's ready to... <laughs> I love that. I love putting parts in to build, um, like, old blocks and stuff. that like I, I put walkways into it. I put those the drain <laughs> the, the 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 drone base walkways into it and other stupid blocks like that like those sentry guns and crap <laughs> yeah that's awesome okay uh so let's spawn this uh here we go we'll just spawn it up on top here might as well uh, i could like crush myself maybe yeah I, I, you guys would love that right first death in a long time by my own hand yay so that's awesome how you can actually see did you notice now when you spawn stuff uh that you can actually see how it's going to be placed uh very 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 cool that's a huge thing trust me trust me huge for those of you that never played before all you got was a blue box outline a stick box it was difficult, to say the least, to get it exactly where you want. Um, so there we go. I've got my Easy Fly. Now, unfortunately, this is not really ready to go for seven. Uh, the, the mats got upgraded, the material costs anyway, but the, the, uh, the ship itself still needs something in it. So I'm going to have to knock this out. So let's do that. We're gonna, I'm going to take these blocks out here. So they're just full blocks. I can just... Actually, I probably should have left those angle ones on. We'll see. We'll see. This is going to be a little bit more humpback than before. So it's not going to be so pretty. And realistically, I probably got too many RCS in this thing. Uh, it's a little twitchy, so... Uh, what I want to do is I want to lay down, I'm going to take two of the RCSs out, and I'm going to put the tank in. Oh, you know what? I probably got to build another one really quick. Okay, I'm going to build another one really quick because I put the other one into the, uh, yeah, I didn't realize. I'm like, oh, I'm going to need that for the, nah. Okay, so let's just build one really quick. Not a big deal. Um... Apparently it is a big deal. Oh, because I took all the, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go, our short range warp tank. So you can see it's a 112 in size, and I'm just going to slot that right into where I, where I remove these RCSs. Then I'll lay this on the top, and I guess build a big hunchback cone head. I don't know. I don't know, folks. It's going to be ugly. But I got to make this thing still like, capable of warp, so I don't I don't want to just pop the warp off and on every time. That's just a, a total hassle. Uh, I mean, I guess I could. I could just put the warp tank in permanently. That way I wouldn't have to, like, screw with that so much. It's, I guess it's an option, but... We'll see. I, I'm gonna put it in. If it's if it's heinous, maybe I'll remove it. But here goes. Let's put this thing in. So this is the one that I removed from the old one. So I'm just gonna pop it into this one now. So we'll just because it's three wide, so I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay. So now it's fully warp capable. Um, Okay, so let's see what I can do with some blocks here, because that looks hideous. And I do have a, a paint and texture tool, obviously, because I've already painted the... Okay, so let's get these... You know what? Okay, so let's... Let's try this. Let's... Come out to here, and then... Um, actually maybe one more and one more we'll do one in front because I do want to really protect this thing right right so let's just get this thing basically covered first and 
these blocks in. Come on. Come on. Thank you. And switch to the corner block here, I guess. Kind of, oops. Match it. And put that in. Switch back to regular blocks and just pull these along here for now. Get that on it. And then we'll just block this off. Okay, so at least it's somewhat protected now. Um, I still want to cover that, and we could, and I want to protect that stuff too. So I'm gonna. Let's do from here across there, and then we're going to come up. We're going to start coming up right there. So let's, oops, what am I doing? Let's flip that around. Come on. Here, sure, that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go like this and like this, and then... Eh. Yeah, he's going to look like a cone head. God. <sighs> Can't do much about it. Um, maybe we'll just do a funky design on the top with something with the uh, with these blocks. Huh? Something like this. Yeah, good enough for right now. You know what? Good enough for right now. It's got a couple thickness blocks in front protecting it, so I think that'll be okay. Uh, most stuff isn't going to be shooting down from the top at me anyway, and most stuff is shooting at, straight at me, and or from the bottom, so eh, I think that's going to be fine. It's a bit of an eyesore, but we'll go with it. I could stretch out these ones one more, and then, or just do the center one. Hmm. Contour it that way, pull that out one more block. Eh. Won't look so cone-headish, let's see. So we'll go like this. Out one, and then go up. I think this might add a little extra. And then Yeah, that doesn't look quite as bad. Just that little bit kind of... It adds that extra little bit, you know what I mean? So it doesn't look so bad. Okay, so uh, let's see what we can do for some colors here. Where's my tools? Let's grab these. And we'll cup those. Oops. That. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Do we want to keep the same color? Is it this? So we could do the same color. I don't know about this. Should we do the same texture too? I guess we could. Um, we could try something new, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it like this. Let's see. Maybe it just needs some paint. Oh, come on. Come on. 
little nooks and crannies can be difficult sometimes. So, I usually don't spend a lot of time decoying and stuff, unfortunately, because I'm usually, I'm usually flying through the testing stuff and changing stuff and trying stuff. So I'm, I mean, the last, the last series I did, series I did on the, um, on the server, the GTI server, the reason I did that is because I did have some time and I knew, I knew it was going to be around for a while, for quite a few hours, and I could put some time into it, so I decided to go with something that I spent time decoing and painting, and, and that was that freaking Class 51 castle that I made <laughs> on the top of one of the mountains of wind. In our custom, one of our custom sectors, the play fields in one of our custom sectors. Um, and you guys, if you stay tuned, the next series is going to be based on the new, it's going to be the, it'll be the GTI server series for, uh, for 7, Alpha 7. So, that'll be my next series, will be the, uh, the server, I'm going to get that fired up get it switched over to uh, default we're gonna go with default um... come on drone I'm gonna turn let's turn the oh, there we go the auto leveling was totally flipping me around there did you see that I was like come on <laughs> okay so sometimes just hitting O to stop that behavior will give you a nice clean ride with your with your drone okay so um, yeah we'll just leave that there for now <laughs> it's or should I you know what red nose I should do like a red stripe up the center and knock these ones flat yeah yeah oh yeah let's change these so I'm gonna do like the bottom, yeah, let's do this, okay, okay, add some more style, why not, let's get rid of this, I obviously painted the, uh, I snuck in there and got the, see that, I got the uh, warp drive with my paint, <laughs> got past the block somehow, <sighs> okay, so let's just put a, should we just put flat blocks or texture those two with, with a little bit of a, here, let's put my coffee down and we'll do, we could do smaller ones. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. There are not as many hit points, though. Well, that's okay. Uh, you know what? Stuff's not going to shoot from the top very often. And it'll be something. It's combat steel. Or not combat, but it's, it's hardened steel, at least. So it's not totally wimpy. Okay. Um, and then I guess we'll paint this up, so... Let's see, we'll get this all greened up. What I should do, here, let's apply the whole block and we'll just hit large. And now we'll use the painting tool. We click once and oh, it almost painted the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't using this because uh, I had forgotten about it, obviously. And boom, <laughs> it's painted. So yeah, one of the new things of seven is the painting and texturing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, I don't really have a ton of time to get into it a lot on this episode. Uh, I would like to, but, but really, I, I don't have a lot of time. So here is my easy fly. Now with a humpback head, and let's color up this guy. We're going to give him like a, oh, that wasn't right. Let's switch that back. And hey. Okay, well, why didn't you just give... Okay, so we'll just... Yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 no, I didn't want... Okay, so uh, be careful. 
it looks like it keeps your old setting. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's... That's okay. Let's change it back to this. No, actually it was the crimson red, right? I think it was this one or this, this one. Let's go with this one. That one looks really crimson. We're gonna do small again, so it's single block. And yeah, okay, apply it a whole block, that's fine. Okay, so let's just do the known cone again. Oh, it's not the same red, is it? Yeah, it looks really like, like dried blood. Yeah, well, I don't know. Let's try this one. There we go. That's there we go. Okay, I like that red. Let's use this. And we're just gonna go like this and go like this and give him a little bit of a red mohawk, you know? Huh? Haven't you ever given your ship a mohawk before? Come on. Of course you have. You do it all the time, I bet. So there we go. Um, I don't know. I think I need to run the red all the way down. Yeah. And hmm. Keeping that green, I guess. Because if we do it red, well, that's okay. You know what? Let's do it red. There we go. That doesn't look so bad, eh? Actually, that's not so bad now. Okay. Okay, I can live with that for now. I can live with that. It's got something to it. It's not completely ugly, but not ideal. Well, let's try it out. So, let's turn our light on because it got dark all of a sudden. We're going to switch to a weapon of some sort and let's eat something. So we'll go into the... Let's have some pie. Yeah. We'll have a can of soup. Well, looks like we need another can. We're real hungry. A couple of cans of soup and a pie. Wow. Could you imagine if you could eat two big cans of soup and a pie for one meal? I know, I know there are people out there that can do that, and kudos to them, but I'd be hard-pressed to get through one of those cans of soup. A little, little pie and another one. Okay, this looks ready to go, actually. Uh, did I... oh, wait, let's... no, 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 I need to... I need to get the other blueprint going now. So the other blueprint is my heavy drill. Let's send that to the factory. Um, long spawn time, one hour, 14 minutes. So I'm gonna get that, get that going with parts and stuff. So let's do that. And that adds a lot of sathium to it and not much iron or anything else but just using these combat steel blocks here and you can see it's it's not doing anything to the time so I'm thinking it's not doing anything to the time because these aren't actually HV parts because I was actually putting SV blocks back into the other SV and I was getting time out of it so but I was also putting those sentry guns so uh, and I was getting time for it so so I don't know here oh whoops I didn't mean to drop the whole thing in oh great well it doesn't matter I need I need all the sathium in my next one anyway so that almost gave me all the iron I'm at the max sathium I got the max neo I just need to add and that dropped that actually did drop the time <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't know what I'm talking about. That doesn't surprise me. 
So after that drop of the cube, um, I got other cubes. I guess I could just jam them in there, but I want to I want to save them for the other for my big uh, my big CV that I'm going to spawn with all the guns. This one's not big enough to actually have a bunch of guns on it, so this will be my little backup CV that I leave behind. Okay, uh, so I could multi-tool down the other HV and start adding it to this, and that is an awesome idea because I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to go downstairs now that I got this up. Uh, we don't need to take it out for a flight yet. I want to do the other upgrade with the other HV now that I got all the stuff to do it with. So let's do that. And is there any critters? No, no, I think I'm just going to jump down. And go into here. And we'll just shut it. Okay. So let's empty this thing of everything first. Don't think I have anything in the fridges, no. Armor locker, nope. Uh, ammo box, probably, yep. Of course. And, oops, come on. Um, we need cargo box, nothing. Next cargo box, nothing. Cockpit, well, of course there's nothing in the cockpit, because I'm here. <laughs> Um, mobile constructor, nothing. And usually when I'm in the cockpit, there's really nothing anyway, because, you know. Okay, fridges, nothing. I'm just looking for spoiled food at this point, because I'm an idiot if I left some food in there. Uh, okay, and then let's take the fuel. Uh, 1,043. Okay, and then we'll just go like this and take all the fuel. Nice. Okay. And then, oh, uh, let's make sure we take the O2. And, oh, I never put any in it. Oh, right, because I never really went anywhere with it that it required it O2. I haven't used it off planet yet, really have I? I took it with me uh, everywhere and I never actually used it. Okay, so there's that, and then there's what else? What else would I have left in here? I don't think there's anything else, right? So ammo box, cargo boxes, constructor, armor locker, fridges, fuel, O2, oak oh, cargo box, the harvest cargo. Nope, okay, okay. Okay, so... Um, well, I guess we just start popping stuff off and throw it in, in right? Like whole blocks, because cause that'll count. Well, I, so did the, yeah, well, everything counts. Let's just do it. So, equip this. I'll just do whole disassemble, because I'm just taking the whole thing, and let's use my drone, because it'll be faster to just whip around and go like this. Grab stuff. Feels harsh nuking a vehicle down after you built it by hand, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I like building stuff, and then once once in a while, when I find a something that works really good and I blueprinted it, I go back to it quite a bit. Um, it just. I just like a couple of things that I've made quite a bit, like my, my HV that I'm about to spawn. This one, meh, it's my starter HV. And I just, I just multi-tool it down and throw it into the factory and, and spawn my better one. So you can see, I just grab everything as blocks because it, it doesn't matter at all. It all counts. I don't need to break it down into parts, and I don't get as much out of the parts anyway. Uh, you don't get if you're if you're dismantling the or what is it? If you're 
if you deconstruct the blocks you don't get as much out of it so you need to disassemble if you want the entire block to put into your factory to uh, spawn something for full mat value other than that uh, you won't get full mats and also to get full mats like a full block you have to have it on private or on uh, your faction whatever faction you belong to <clears throat> and that way you can you can use the disassemble to take full blocks that way because that would be considered when it's a faction it's considered your own structure for purposes of uh, administration going to the control panel adding removing blocks stuff like that so uh, those two settings so both both the private and the faction setting uh, will allow you to remove full blocks which has the full mat value when you add to the factory so that's how you get your full mat value back out of out of stuff uh, if you only have it set to oh, so now I can't pick up anymore so let's put the rest of this in here if you only have it set to uh, the other one where you're stripping the parts out of the blocks themselves then on private and faction you get 60% back of the block and on on public and no core, so like a POI that you've knocked the core out, you only get 30%. So when you multi-tool down a uncored POI now, the, the best you can hope for is 30% back, or once in a blue moon, a full block. Uh, so Because you still do get full blocks out of them every once in a blue moon, there's a, there's a chance of it. And let's get these thrusters. So we're oh, we're maxed out on the iron, and we're getting down to root. Whoa, we might actually be able to spawn that. Oh, so it doesn't contribute anymore. Okay, so I can't add that anymore. Uh, so it's not going to take just iron. So I guess cargo boxes just take iron now. They don't take. Oh right, they don't take take those energy matrixes, do they? I don't think. Okay, so I need a lot of copper, silicone, uh, zascosium, or estrium, cobalt. So, um, let's nuke these parts then, right? They'll give me multitude of various mats. So, the blocks won't right now because they're, they're only giving me steel, so the blocks are just going to be picked up as blocks, I guess, and added to the next. Because it won't, they won't contribute anymore. Just the uh, iron blocks and the, uh, and the hardened steel blocks. So the steel blocks and the hardened steel won't contribute anymore, but I'm going to pick them up as blocks anyway. That way I can... Oops, what's this? I didn't notice I dropped something. Okay, auto leveling stop. And a hover engine. Well, right, yeah, because I was full before. Yeah, two by two hover. Okay, good. Uh, and I'm going to leave the core for last. That way uh, I can get full. You also have to leave the core for last, by the way, or else you won't get full blocks out. <laughs> Just like I said, a decord thing. You're only going to get 30%, so keep that in mind. Now, if you wanted to, you can get really good XP by setting one of your structures to public and zapping it. You're only going to get 30% returns, but you're going to get a ton of XP, like a ton of XP, but you're not going to get very many mats back, so you can actually level off deconstructing stuff and get very minimal amount of mats back but it but still some enough to enough to you know do stuff with but especially if you're like doing that to a complete POI of some sort where you have it on on public 
and you zap the entire thing down you'll end up with a decent amount of mats but not even close to as if you had set it on on private and, and took, a, took a full blocks so keep that in mind it's a trade-off XP for mats and in multiplayer on a regen POI so something you can tell if it's regen just by trying to launch your drone and it says you cannot spawn your drone in an enemy near an enemy base that means that POI has got regen on it and that means that you know you can't you, you won't necessarily be able to uh, um, get full blocks out of it because you won't be able to put a core onto it if it has regen so unfortunately you you can't in multiplayer get a ton of blocks out of out of multi tuning a POI you're, you're gonna get kinda minimal returns now uh, so you know it's 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 a different way of playing on multiplayer at least you know it depends on the server and what the admins have set in it for for the regen time but if if it's a really busy server obviously you're gonna set a quick regen time if it's not a very bit busy server then you don't want you don't want one person be able to, able to farm one POI in six times in six hours type thing right so so make sure your regen times if you're going to set up a multiplayer server make sure your regen times are set logically for your population base mostly it's 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 due to your population base so if if you have a small population base you, you can set fairly high regen times three hours is is probably a good thing to set for that um, that way you don't have one player camping something all day long and it also gives other players an opportunity to do a POI that they've that somebody else has done because it'll regen as long as there's a block left it'll regen after that that time period so for example, if I put three three hour regen on all my stuff on my server, then as long as nobody visits it, I believe it's as long as nobody visits it. Yeah, so steps within its boundaries, and I'm not sure what its boundary box is. I think it's uh, um, I don't know. It might be like 30 meters or something. It's it's it's. I don't think you have to touch it. I don't think you have to try and interact with it. I think you just have to be in its bubble wherever you can't spawn your drone and if you're outside that bubble I don't think um, I don't think the counter stops I think it, that the regen counter will go then and it'll it'll actually regen like I say as long as you leave so let's see do I have enough space here to grab the parts for that no so I'm probably going to put the rest of this in here so let's see we'll take our guns yes I want the spotlights yeah because it has silicone and copper we'll do the hover engines yep and you can see our time is going down and we'll continue to put other parts you can see we're going over on a bunch of stuff I don't really care because I'm going to, to use all this in the overage just goes into the next uh, blueprint so it's it's really not a big deal like this and and wow we've almost put and then so we're oh yeah right I can't contribute with steel blocks anymore so I need copper but now you can see we're down to one second one second spawn time so let's let's put the copper silicone zascosium and cobalt ingots here and then spawn that and that's probably a pretty good episode at that point because uh, oh, oh I can take this now so let's grab that and we can put that stuff in there too <laughs> why not why not oh yeah right 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 okay 
So, let's grab some of this stuff, and this stuff, and this stuff, and this stuff, and this, no, actually we didn't need that stuff. We needed silicone. Okay. I think that should be good. Okay, so let's go back into our blueprints. We need a little over 400. Ooh, wow. Okay, so let's, oops, let me just pick the whole thing up and drop a bunch. Uh, oh, we need one more. And, nope, I needed one less. Okay, not a big deal. <laughs> Over by one, not a big deal. Silicone, we need 300. Oh, God, and 17, so 317. Silicone. Almost my whole stack. Well, I need to go, and I'm going to need to take this HV out and go mining. So let's. Come on. Uh, why did I see? I'm going to give myself corporal tunnel syndrome doing that. Jeez. Let's, uh. Okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we want. Another two hundred and okay, so go like that and another ninety-eight, so eighty-eight, and one, two, three. There we go. And a restroom, same thing. that and oops like that and like that okay and cobalt a little bit of cobalt 38 cobalt okay so Okay, so there we go. We're ready to start production and it's ready to spawn. <laughs> so that's how quick it is to, if you got better um, plans, so to speak, you got some, some nice items in your, in your factory that you could spawn. Uh, why not multi-tool your old one down? You can see how quick it was. So I'm just going to, should I spawn this inside here? Yeah, let's, let's move. And we'll just go here. And it should fit inside here. So let's see. My heavy drill. And here we go. Yep, it fit. So here's that was the rear end of it. So this is my heavy drill. This thing kicks ass. It's also a fairly decent mid game, end game tank even. Uh, I've taken out some pretty tough, tough POIs with it even because of the, uh, the missile turrets on it. So you can see it's got an artillery turret up there. It's got four missile turrets. It's got four mini gun turrets. It's got six of the laser drills. It's got two mini guns on it. Uh, we've got a laser, dr uh, a laser drill turret on the back and all of the thrusters are the jet thrusters on it. Plus, so the cockpit, what I am going to have to do is, whoops, let's just jump over my stuff. What I am going to do here though is I don't want, I'm going to take one of these and the rest of this, oh, it doesn't matter, I, I might as well just disassemble. I want to change this. I want to change that. I don't really like it. I want to put, uh, uh, I want to put a grate in. <laughs> The reason I don't like it is because it wasn't working for my my laziness. 
So let's put a 4 by 3 in. And we'll flip that. And should I just do it like that? Is that going to block me in if I... Let's try... Oh. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Although that... Stupidly, that's probably actually sealed. <laughs> I bet you it is. I, I, don't want to, I, don't, I don't even want to check. It probably is. I want this back. And we're going to tr try that again. Uh, let's, do my, let's use my drone because apparently I am horrible at this with my avatar. And so, no, I don't want that. Let's, f uh, we're going to rotate it. Yeah. So we're going to rotate it like that. There we go. Okay. So, oh, that's a bit kludgy. You can see into there. Eh, not really a huge fan of that. It doesn't look like it's sealed, but it probably is. It probably is. Oh, well. Uh... Let's let's put let's make that black. We're gonna make that black. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, guys, you can see I've got my HV, my tricked out HV that uh, from my server that I. created a, um, a blueprint for and have now spawned by multi-tooling down my other G HV and I, I spawned my other SV so I'm well on my way to really conquering this game. I now have some uber end game vehicles that I can really do some damage with with these guided missiles and an artillery turret. Artillery turrets kick ass. The problem is right now I'm starting to run low on a bunch of mats. Uh, cobalt, some promethium in particular, some silicone and, and copper. So I think I'm going to go around and get those with this thing and try out, try out to see how the laser drills are. Uh, and then I'll, I'll probably show you that a little bit maybe next episode. But, but for this episode, guys, I think we've accomplished a lot here. We've got some upgraded vehicles. And we're going to be able to conquer the universe now, uh, especially pretty quick. I'll, I, I, I was thinking of multi-tooling the, the CV down to spawn the next CV, and I might do that. I might actually do that. <laughs> it sounds crazy, doesn't it? Doesn't it? But it'll make it spawn really fast, and I'll have all the mats to do it if I do it. So I'm probably going to do it. I'm probably going to multi-tool this down and put it into the plans for my... I'll show you here. So what I want to do is make my big death trap. So let's send that to the factory. So I need 15,000 sathium. Um, I need another 8,000 iron ingots. Or, uh, wow, uh, 9,000 and you know lots and need need lots of neo uh lots of restrooms ascosium so you can see why i got all that restrooms ascosium uh, i need a lot of cobalt and silicone a bunch of uh copper a little bit of plastic some growing plots which i have and wood planks which i have so that's not a big deal that the plastic is not a big deal too so uh yeah i think by multi-tooling it down and putting all the blocks in here and also, you know, because I, I can do that right now with a bunch of this crap. Well, why not? Why not? See, I, I don't want to put ingots in then They don't contribute to the time. Uh, but yeah, those were contributing. Those were contributing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around a mine. And I'm going to multi-tool down this CV. It was just my starter CV anyway. Uh, I'll probably... What, I'll, I'll create a blueprint of it first. 
just so I can spawn it into creative and, and really strip it right down and create a real basic starter CV out of it without any gear so it's just a, a flying husk really without any equipment inside and that'll make it really cheap that way um, and that's probably what I'm going to use as my first CV that I spawn on the multiplayer server so so this CV is going to keep living on every time I play in another in a, in in a whole new light every single time so rest assured my my plucky little starter CV is never going away it will come back to haunt us and this time around it's going to go to its grave but from the ashes will arise a mighty phoenix and that will be my death trap and it will conquer the galaxy okay guys if you like this episode like and subscribe next episode I hope to spawn in the death trap yeah and conquer the galaxy so stay tuned and you guys have yourselves a good day